Alright guys, so now in this video we're going to be working on the steering tie rods, the pitman arm, and we're also going to be doing a archway over the cart to support the steering shaft, and that's different than what my original design was going to be, so let's get to it. Okay, now the original idea was the cart was going to have an arch or have a support that was going to come up in the middle of the cart and then arc over and then the steering wheel was going to be supported by that. I've decided to go along with an arch instead that's going to go up over the hole that's going to connect to the top part of the frame and then the steering wheel will be right here. I've decided to do that. This is... Uh, I just went in and changed the plans to this thing instead. So, um, now if some of you guys have been PMing me and have asked me <laughs> that once I get done with some of my builds to do some videos on how to build some weapons, like swords and battle axes and stuff like that. Now, there's an idea that I've been working on uh, where I want to build <laughs> a catapult using go kart parts. But I'm still kind of up in the air about that, not because it's dangerous or nothing, but because uh, it, the way I want it to work is going to be a little different. I don't want it to be on a on a, a weighted type of thing. I want it to be spring loaded. So, yeah. But anyways, that's one thing that I'm been looking at. But when it comes to swords and battle axes and maces and stuff like that, I'm not going. I'm not going to build anything like that just because it's. It's kind of a waste of material, you know, if, if you're going to build something, then you use it, you know, and I don't really plan on using any of that stuff, I mean, unless I was one of those crazy, like, I hate the government guys, jeez, yeah, that'd be a little weird, could you imagine if I was one of those crazy government guys who actually just, like, you know, talked about conspiracies and stuff like that, huh, man, that'd be a little weird, I wonder what that would be like. Hey everybody, how's it going? Now I wanted to put something into context for you guys, for all you, those of you who are paying attention to the SOPA stuff. Yeah, remember SOPA? You know, that's how our system works, you know? Our system will throw out something out to the general public that they know the general public won't want to deal with, okay? So what they do is they'll throw something out there and say it's going to be voted on. But what people don't realize is that there's stuff going on in the background. The day that they decided to uh, do the passing in the Congress and see how far that was going to go? That's right. What happens? It gets turned down. The powers that be knew it was going to be turned down. So what was actually the primary reason behind what was happening on that day? Anybody know? I know I don't. But I can tell you one thing. I do know that that's how the system works. They'll throw something out into the public arena. People will start paying attention to it. And then later on, while the public is paying attention to that, they're sneaking crap into legislation in the background. That's how our system works. It is. Let me put something else into context for you. A long time ago, about... About 30 years ago, our legislative bodies decided to pass something into legislation and make it so that way people had to keep paying their car insurance. Yeah, you have to get car insurance. Well, they threw out so many different policies and so many different things out there that proved and stated that it was okay and it's important to get insurance for your vehicle. Once it got passed into legislation, it then turned around and now when you get pulled over from the cops, not only do they ask you for your license and your registration, they also ask for your proof of insurance. Isn't that right? Well, so now they have three different things that they can turn around and charge you for. What? else has happened quite recently. Last year, 2011. 2011. That's right. They decided that our lawmakers decided to get it, some hair up their ass and decided to start saying that, hey, our medical establishment of the United States is starting to go into debt so much because people just ain't paying their bills. We need to have everybody have some form of medical insurance. Isn't that right? 
Let me put something into context for you guys now. Back in 2011, last year, they turned around and decided to pass it into legislation that everybody had to have medical insurance by the year 2016. Now, everybody out there was a little mad about that. There was a lot of people outside of Congress pissed off that they decided to even to have the audacity to try passing that crap in there. Purposely create another bill for the average citizen out there. But there's more at stake here than just that. Let me put it more into context for you. Nowadays, when you get pulled over, the cops can ask you for three things. If you don't have all those three things, they can turn around and charge you. Now, after the year 2016, you will be in the radar. You and your children are going to be in the radar and in the scopes of every, every law enforcement across the United States. Because not only will they be able to pull you over and ask you for your registration, your license, your proof of automobile insurance, but now they're going to be able to ask you for your medical insurance card. That's right. That's what they're going to be doing. Heck! Let's take it one step further, shall we? Just like these son of a bitches back in the 20s and 30s walking around through Berlin and asking the Jews for their papers, our law enforcement after 2016 will be able to turn around and walk up to the average citizen on the damn street and ask them if they have their medical insurance card. That's how bad it's gonna get, everybody. But no, most people out there don't quite realize it's gonna get that bad. But by that time, 2016, the laws were passed in 2011. Too much time, five years, to be able to pass through where those policies and those laws are going to be able to seep into every facet of our legal system. That's what's going to happen, which means that these bitch-ass cops are going to be able to walk up to you on the street and ask you for your medical insurance card. Anybody, anybody and everybody across the United States is now going to be perpetually a criminal until they prove themselves to be innocent. What a crock of shit. It's another form of fascism. Our system trying to generate revenue off of the citizens. You remember that, people. You remember after 2016, cops will be able to walk up to anybody on the street now and ask them for their medical insurance card. Where you work. Do you have medical insurance through where you work? They'll be able to ask you all those kind of questions just like how the Nazis used to do back in Berlin. You remember me saying that to you, people, because it's gonna happen. Mm, yeah, that would be a little weird, wouldn't it? <laughs> but I don't think I'd uh, really have too much important things to say to people. So I'm just going to kind of stay away from the weapon kind of thing. But uh, anyways, yeah, like I said, the catapult thing is an idea that I'm having. So, so if you ever see anybody else out there coming up with the idea, you know that they've been watching my videos. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so let's get back to it. Right, because those dirty rats are just gonna totally need it. Oh. Stop. <laughs> Alright. Well, at least Dora the Explorer hasn't let me down. Oh, shit, it's cold. Oh, uh -huh. Can I get a coffee over here? Yeah, great. Get some lube in. Does this look alright? I mean, does it, does it make my boobs look too flat? You know. It's gotta look better than this.